Unit 6. Booms and Slumps Nobody ever seems to listen very much to other people. We go blindly on, not profiting from other people's experience. We just have to learn from our own. Of course, the older generation may be wrong. Accepting the world as they find it, the young do not see any danger approaching. Perhaps at last the free forces of economic life have been tamed, and the era of unbroken prosperity is really here. Passage 51 Automation. Some time ago, an expert on automation, Sir Leon Bagret, pointed out that it was a mistake to believe that these machines could think. Sir Leon said that in the future, computers would be developed which would be small enough to carry in the pocket. Ordinary people would then be able to use them to obtain valuable information. Computers could be plugged into a national network and be used like radios. Car drivers could be given alternative routes when there are traffic jams. It will also be possible to make tiny translating machines. Computers are the most efficient servants man has ever had, and there is no limit to the way they can be used to improve our lives. Unit 2. Man and the Space Age. Of course, every country always declares that it believes in peace, freedom and democracy. But the trouble is, what do they mean by these words? So one nation attacks its neighbour to free it from a government it doesn't like, and so perhaps, in the name of freedom and democracy, imposes oppression and dictatorship. It's because this happens so frequently that many people fear the scientists' conquest of space. Do they see spaceships as the battleships of the future, with rockets and invisible rays as the weapons of some future war? Someone must do something about it, they feel. The difficulty is, how can anyone do anything about either human nature or scientific progress? Neither the one nor the other is readily controllable. Possibly the best hope lies in the danger of total self-destruction.